uh, hey guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this video as well so guys as you can see on the top or on the screen it is displaying deploying and configuring active directory certificate service uh, server 2012 r2 and uh, i'm just continuing with the topic of uh, certification authority and so the basic things before you go to deploy a certificate uh, service so I have uploaded three more videos about the basic concepts, basic requirements before going for the deployment. So this is my fourth video in this topic and uh, if you want to ha have all those videos you can go to my YouTube channel and this is the URL of my YouTube channel and you can find from that and apart from this there are some around 300 videos on different different technologies, CCNA. Uh, security and uh, Azure uh, lots of things are there if you find it is helpful and if you feel like you can get more videos from here you can just go through the channel and find it and uh, don't forget to click on this bell button so you will be getting all the updated videos here notification here so guys I'm just talking about couple of things in this video once again certificate authority okay and difference between public and private certificate authority and apart, apart from this is advantage and disadvantages of certificate authorities so let me begin with uh, the very first one and that is what are certificate authorities so you should be able to identify you should be able to know what are the certificate authorities we have and what is the role of that certificate authority basically so guys on a windows server 2012 or 8 network certificate authority is a computer with active directory service active directory certificate service role is installed you got one computer this computer okay uh, you have installed active directory server active directory certificate server role active directory certificate server role on this and this will be called your active directory certificate authority okay now a uh, ca you can call it CA can sign and revoke certificates and also publish AIA and CRL information about revoked certificates to ensure the u that users services and computers are issued certificate that can be validated so if you want what is uh, like uh, AIA CRL revocation and all you can go through the previous videos of what I have uploaded in detail to understand now this is a very simple situation here you got one certificate authority okay now you have issues a self-signed certificate it for itself or verifies the identity of certificate requesters issue a certificate to users computers and services manage certificate revocation so it will have all the records of certificates issued and deployed or revoked and all and it will also have the records who is using that certificate to whom it is given so I will tell you all about the things one by one and I'm just talking about all those things again and again so you can go through the previous videos also and uh, let me move to a little bit further so now guys uh, a certificate authority performs multiple function or roles in PKI public key infrastructure what it is what are the components advantages uh, and required components I have already spoken about it in large public infrastructure separation of certificate authority roles among multiple uh, servers is common so you got very huge environment then there will be separate separate servers to handle se separate separate roles okay and this is a very common uh, kind of uh, deployment of IT because uh, it, it provides I mean it gives a little bit uh, reliability okay load load balancing kind of things you cannot put all the loads on one server so you can have multiple servers and you can assign uh, separate or uh, specific services to that particular server and it provides several management tasks including like verifying and identi identify or uh, identity of certificate requesters who is requesting issuing certificate to requesting users computers and services managing certificate revocation so these are the uh, basic task of certificate authority basically now next one public and private certificate authority so there are two types of authority basically one is private and second one is public 
or you can say public or private so here as you can see here this is your uh, internal uh, root certificate authority and subordinate certificate authority is here and uh, here you can see one more thing this is your public okay and this is your issuing certi uh, certificate authority so as you can see here and this is your internal user this this side you can see this one and this this is a separate so this is your private okay inside this you are private so this user is able to communicate from this computer to certificate authority and it is it is able to communicate this side also this is your third party uh, like public uh, uh, certificate authority so it will be third party software or third party user who will be provi providing you that kind of certificates and so you can use I mean this internal uh, that private can use both but this side this internet user who is on public environment he cannot use this private okay this internal this is a difference between or you can say public versus uh, private certificate authority he cannot take uh, uh, certificates from here uh, he will be restricted so this this kind of error or it is just an example to explain you guys now you can understand couple of more things yes what are the advantages and what are the disadvantages of uh, external and internal public certificate authority basically so you can configure a certificate authority for your company by you using an internal private uh, certificate authority uh, by using active directory certificate service otherwise you can use third party certificate authorities so both have advantages and disadvantages so if we talk about the very first advantage of external which is public certificate authority so it is trusted by many internal clients external clients sorry okay uh, web browsers and operating systems this is an advantage second one requires minimal administrations so you do not need to configure you do not need to manage it you can just ask uh, certain vendors to provide certificate so they will provide you as per your requirement and disadvantages it is highly costly you need to pay much more for this and cost for certificate you need to pay certificate um, pro requirement like again and again you will have to purchase it purchase it now what so this is advantage now what is the advantage of internal private so it provides greater control over certificate management you can control by your team customize templates you can customize templates what kind of content it, it will be having okay what kind of rights and all auto enrollment you can configure here and it is it is not trusted by external clients so this is a dis disadvantages you can configure as per your requirement but that external client will not trust like web browser operating system by default okay so this is a disadvantage of using internal private certificate authority now guys uh, some organizations have started using hybrid approach to their uh, public key infrastructure architecture so what is this so basically it is a combination of public and private okay it is a merge of uh, you can say external or internal uh, uh, certificate authority so that is known as hybrid approach or hybrid certificate authority infrastructure so hybrid approach uses an external public for root and hierarchy uh, hierarchy hierarchy of internal so this is a how they they will structure it like uh, they can use public as a root and a hierarchy of internal CA for distribution of certificates. So this can be, they can decide, and this gives organization the advantage of having their internally issued certificates trusted by internal clients while still providing the advantages of an internal certificates authority. The only disadvantages is cost. A hybrid approach is typically the most expensive approach so obviously if you are going uh, for two then definitely you will have to pay more in this now uh, in this video this much information only guys advantages in this advantages disadvantages and uh, uh, public versus private certificate authority and uh, what are the certificate authorities we have or what is certificate authority so guys thanks for watching for this video don't forget to comment, share, subscribe and like this video and this is URL of my YouTube channel if you want more videos you can just subscribe the channel and as I told you uh, if you are subscribing just don't forget to click on this bell button so that you can get uh, 
all the update I mean updated videos or notifications here you will be getting and don't forget to subscribe I'm telling again and again so updates will be coming that is why I'm telling you and uh, there are 370 plus videos and in next video I will be talking about like types of certificate authority in Windows Server 2008 itself or 2012 like a standalone and enterprise certificate authority and apart from that uh, again their characteristics and in next video what are the scenario in which certificate authority hierarchy what is a cross certification hierarchy and uh, after that I will be taking you through what are the prerequisites for root certificate authority and when root certificate authority should be used consideration for deploying a root certificate authority deploy a root certificate authority so before deploying this root certificate authority you will have to understand each and everything then only it will be easy so guys till then bye bye have a nice time and don't forget to subscribe the channel till then bye bye